Sean Rempel here with ProGrain, District Sales Manager for Eastern Manitoba, Highway 10 East. Another variety we have launching into to 2021, more specifically 2022, on the IP side is our Maya. Maya is a 006 2475. We've been looking for a couple of years now, kind of after the launch of, of Liska, which is a kind of a 004 2425 variety. We've been looking for a, a real heavy hitter on the IP side. We've had Maya in testing now for two years, seed production for the first time in 2021. One of my biggest things on my wish list for our IP lineup is to continue to focus on, on developing better IDC. A lot of our retails and a lot of our customers have experience with Siberia, which is our number one selling IP soybean, very defensive soybean. Most specifically when you're spraying that in-crop herbicide and you notice some yellow flashing from surfactant burn or anything like that, you do not want to see some additional uh, stress on the plant when it comes to IDC pressure. So we've been trying to match that Siberia IDC with, with many of our new varieties on the IP side. With Maya, we've kind of knocked it out of the park in the sense of uh, developing something that's even stronger than Siberia. So both ProGrain internally, along with the McVet IDC ratings, have given Maya 1.6 full tolerant on IDC, and it's showing. You know, in, in trials this year in 2021, probably one of the best looking IP soybeans out there in terms of vegetation, overall health, emergence out of the ground, even under extremely, extremely dry conditions this year. Just all the way through, I've been incredibly impressed with this variety. Like I said, 006, 2475. It does not have a major gene for Phytophthora, but exceptional field tolerance. I haven't seen a, a stitch of Phytophthora pressure on this particular variety, so I'm quite excited about that. You know, as most of our dealers and customers know in Western Canada, we're striving for higher protein all the time, particularly for that export market. Another reason why we've, we've launched Liska and grown Liska on so many more acres in 2021 is specifically you know, for that high protein. I would, I would say that Liska is possibly the, the highest protein variety ever introduced to Western Canada. We really feel like we've matched it with Maya. Also looking for those you know, 41, 42, 43% protein with these particular varieties, which allows us you know, so much more diversity when it comes to the export market. So in terms of you know, characteristics on the Maya, I'm quite flexible on row spacings. It is a, a slender plant in the sense of actual you know, characteristics. But because it's such a tall, robust vegetative variety, I have no problem, you know, in Southern Manitoba planting this into a 30 inch row. It was one of the first varieties in many of our demo plots on wide rows to actually fill in, which is quite astonishing in 2021, you know, strictly because of our conditions that we've been working with. No problem to sow it on narrow row spacing as well. I'd probably back plant population off a little bit just to kind of make up for how vegetative it is and not get things too overcrowded. In an IP system, you know, where we're not working with, uh, with regular, you know, Roundup and things like that, that canopy closure is key. You know, we want to see those fields close in, eliminate weed pressure coming through and things like that. And another reason why I think the Maya is going to be so successful is just it's, it's incredibly quick out of the ground. It gets its legs under it right away, starts putting off, you know, big trifoliate leaves, big vegetation and can close that canopy in. So standability for its height is, is excellent. White mold tolerance is excellent. And like I said, and I, I don't wanna continue to repeat myself, but the IDC on this soybean is, is, is super special. So for those defensive growers out there that really wanna choose the varieties that can, can grow on some of their tougher ground and things like that, you know, Maya is gonna be a number one choice for them. We probably wanna focus on, you know, Winnipeg South. Uh, we are testing this variety throughout the inner lake and, and into western Manitoba, but because of that 006 maturity, we probably want to focus on Winnipeg South. So production-wise, it's, uh, it's looking good in our seed production fields. We expect to have pretty ample supply for what we want to move in 2022, and I know a lot of our southern Manitoba dealers are going to jump on this one quite quickly. So look for your Maya in 2022, and uh, I'm really excited to add this one to the portfolio alongside Siberia, Liska, and Hannah.